Hi guys, um, the reason why this video is looking a little bit different is that I am in Cape Town for my block week this week. So today is Sunday, Father's Day, the 17th of June. And I am staying at one of the um, holiday club resorts. And I haven't had any time to myself for a long time. If you know me and we've had conversations before, you will know that I seldom have a day without my kids. Like a complete day without my kids. Unless I've got other priorities that would mean that then some other people are filling in the gap where my kids aren't there. So today I arrived last night, which was Saturday. So today is Sunday and I didn't bring my camera or anything. It's now like 11 minutes past noon. And I had this whole fantasy in my head even before coming here that today I would spend the day reading. So I have just decided on an impromptu 12 hour readathon. I bought some books at the airport when I went there. My colleagues were kind enough on my birthday to buy me uh, an exclusive books voucher. So when I was at the airport, I thought, why not use it? So I got two books, namely um, Coconut and um, Children of Blood and Bones. So uh, I'm currently trying to finish. I've got 60 pages left on Pleasure by Ntikeng um, Mutlale. And after that, I will read Coconut, I think, and then Children of Blood and Bones if I happen to complete Coconut today. However, I do think I will start on that book this week because it means every time I come back from school, I can take a break before doing more school. This is my research here. <coughs> so if the quality of this video is not as per the quality of the other videos, please do forgive. So I'm thinking maybe I'll stop reading it around midnight obviously in between i need to eat and i need to check on some work stuff Excuse my lighting you guys, I think as you can tell it's already like evening and there isn't that much light in here. Mm -hmm. um, I've, it's now 17 minutes past 4. 
I've just finished Pleasure by DK Mukhlare. This book I didn't expect to like as much as I did. Truly, truly enjoyed it. It was like, it caught me by a surprise. And I think those are the best books, actually, if you, you ask me the books that you aren't expecting to actually like, that really just grab you. At the end, I gave it a four out of five. I'm about to just um, log it in my book, not book two in my um goodreads profile and i won't be writing a profile there I'm, what's wrong with me i won't be writing a review there i will definitely um put something up on my blog when i do the wrap up and obviously on the channel at the end of the month when i do the april okay guys i don't know what's wrong hey right? when i do the june wrap up read so i'm about to start the second book of this readathon, which is Coconut by Kopano Magra. Um, I've heard a lot about this book. It is her first book. She's now written three novels since the other ones are called Prayed Pains and the other one is called um, Spilt Milk. So when this first came out, I didn't give it much thought. She is South African, so this is one of the South African authors that I will definitely talk to you guys about.
um, I've relocated to the bedroom. I think the lighting is much better this side. So um, I managed to do a little bit of planning for my week on my bullet journal. I am on the ground unit that's very close to the road. So you're going to hear some cars. Hopefully I'll just be able to like mute the sound while I'm reading, when I'm editing and then just give you guys some music. Otherwise, um, progress. I'm actually happy with the progress that I've had today. It isn't the world's greatest read. Well, can you guys hear the wind? Well, it isn't like the greatest reading space, but it's the best that I've been able to do in a long time because like I said, I seldom have time to myself. So this is great. I'm sure you guys saw me having noodles. There are no proper bowls here. So I use like the biggest round container that I could find which was that huge bowl that I used they didn't f even finish the noodles I have been stuffing myself with um, sugar so that goes to show that sugar will lie to your body I'm just looking around because the rain sounds a bit serious and I hope there won't be any sort of load shedding I am currently on page 39 of this book so far so good nothing mind-blowing I'm not like swept away but I think that it does have a potential to grow into something that I would definitely enjoy so I am slowly checking my way there what I've done is I have marked where I am which is page 39 and then I marked the sort of like part where she starts her part two which is basically almost halfway through the book so um yeah so i'm gonna continue reading this in bed i just wanted to show you guys the other book that i did get um i've, I've had this book in my radar for a long time well ever since i heard about it and then the other day one of the bookstagram accounts that i follow um at trans guy meg she had it on her um, bookstagram and I told her that and she made a comment about how great and wonderful the book is and I told her that I'd wanted to get myself a copy and she definitely um, pointed me towards it to, to say that it would not basic it would basically not be a bad idea to get the book so I did get it that's children of blood and bone by Tony Adeyemi I think she is a Nigerian American author yeah that's who she is she's a Nigerian American author that's her and I've heard a lot of good things about this book so um, can't wait to get into it I was talking to my sisters and a friend of mine just now on whatsapp so as soon as I wrap that up <sighs> I will um, start reading again
the time now is almost 10 past 9, 9 minutes past 9 and I am halfway through the book. I'm, on, I'm about to start part 2 which is on page 99. The book is 190 pages long. Um, well, there is something else written on here, so let's just call it 191 pages long. So I am halfway through, and I am going to read for the next hour, and I'll check back with you guys to just end the reading vlog. I've really enjoyed this. I think that there's benefit in these um, readathons. Okay, the time is now 10 o'clock, one minute past 10. Oh. And um, I am on page 123. So I'm on page 123. And um, there was an, a point in the book that really moved me. Let me put it that way. That really moved me and often whenever I see stories of child abuse or child molestation, it's really a, I guess a trigger for me. It really, it really, really break, breaks my heart, especially because sometimes literature is so true to society and reflects um reflects a huge part of us and what's going on in the world actually i'm just gonna continue reading so i've practically got 70 pages to go or if i have to be precise 67 pages to go and i am gonna change into my pajamas switch off the main lights curl up into this bed and read as much as i can before i start feeling drowsy otherwise like i said before i really 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 enjoyed this and um i think i'll be doing something similar whenever i can 
and um, in total today I was left with 60 pages of um, pleasure and I have read 122 pages of coconut which means I've read about 182 pages and I'll, I'm gonna read more so I think it will be more way more than that but I'm closing this vlog I've read about 182 pages today which for me I feel like is a win and until next time you guys I really appreciate you coming onto this platform um, engaging with my my content and even commenting liking and responding in any way to the content it really means a lot to me and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe and like and share with other people who you think would be interested in this kind of thing